Alrighty then. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. So for it being mermaid, I thought it'd be a lot of fun to go ahead and teach you guys how to draw a mermaid. And the best way to teach you how to draw a mermaid is by drawing one of the most famous mermaids of all, which is Ariel. I have done a tutorial on how to draw Ariel, but I've never done a full body tutorial on how to draw Ariel. So bear with me, it's gonna be a lot of fun. So let's go ahead and get started. What I'd first like to do, I'm gonna go all the way up here so I don't run out of room. <laughs> and I'm actually gonna go ahead and just start laying out her body. So I'm gonna go ahead and make her head tilted upwards. So I'm gonna bring her head up here. And I'm gonna go ahead and bring down her neck. I'm just laying everything out. And I'm gonna go ahead and bring down one shoulder so we're gonna go out to the side of the neck and then I'm gonna jump over here this part of the neck goes down another part of the shoulder goes this way and then loop around this arm and then what I'm gonna do is bring out her torso and her torso is gonna go out this way and then down and then her other part of her torso is gonna start up here from this part of her shoulder. So I go off to the neck side over here just a little bit, bring this down, and bring down this side of her torso. And then this part of her arm is just gonna be going outwards. And I'm gonna draw through her torso. So we just have that over there. And then I'm gonna bring down her forearm building up off of this section we just created and that's going to go to her wrist and her hand so I'm just going to go ahead and draw a circle there for right now and then this part we're seeing more of this side of her arm as opposed to this arm over here just because it's a three-quarter turn so this one's going to come down and I'm actually going to go right up into the half her elbow area bring up this side and then I'm gonna draw a circle for her hand area over here. So that's her wrist and this will be her hand area. And then I'm gonna jump back here from her torso area. I'm gonna bring out her butt. Bring it out. So after this part goes in, we're gonna go ahead and start getting pretty skinny. So this is wide up here. And it'll get start getting skinny down here. If we get to this part, it's gonna go ahead and come down. And it's gonna get to the middle part where the tail goes up. And it's just a skinny, it almost looks like a leaf. And then this part will go up. This is the basic fashion of your mermaid. You could either, at this point right now, you could either turn into a man or a woman. So all you have to do is add seashell bras and that is the basic layout for a mermaid body. So if you're ever wondering, where do I even begin? That is the basic spots to do. It's just, you have to be a little bit more proportionate. You're not dealing with legs, but you have to be more proportionate to how long their legs would be to a person. So that's what you just have to keep in mind. But anyways, let's go ahead and keep on drawing Ariel. Now let's go ahead and start filling in the detail. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and divide up her head into a quarter turn. So I make my eye line and I'm gonna go right down the middle and that'll give me my quarter turn guidelines. After that, what I'd like to do is, Ariel has ginormous eyes, so I'm gonna go ahead and start off with this eye over here, and I'm gonna bring down this side of the eye, round off the bottom, and then I'm gonna jump over here. Ariel has really interesting eyes, they look like spotlights to me, so I round this off, round this off, go back over, and there we have her eye set up. And then what I'd like to do is go down on the right eye and make that nose ridge because her nose is going out. And I'm just gonna make a circle. So we have the nose ridge, it goes outwards, goes in. And then I make her nostril here and her side of her nose. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just give her her smile. We have to shape up her face a ton too. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring out 
her top lip, which is pretty, it's just an overall thick top lip, goes down and curves. So I'm going to go, so I make the top lip, curve this down, and go into a smile. Alright, because it's looking weird, let's go ahead and shape up her face. I'm actually going to start over here. I'm going to keep this side of her face, but I'm going to go a little bit more in towards her eye. Bring out her cheek. Bring out her chin, so we have a more shaped face with cheeks, chin. Bring up her jawline. And then over here we'll have an ear and that'll connect and the neck will stay the same. Now we can kind of fix her just because it was really throwing me off and I don't know about you guys. Now would be a good time to go ahead and just clean up a couple of guidelines if you need to. Now I'm going to touch up here. I'm just going to bring this to the top line up to more of a smile make the top line a little bit thicker and then bring down this side, curve down the bottom. And that is good. And I'm gonna go ahead and give her a little bit of a dimple. Now let's go ahead and give her her pupil iris areas. So I'm gonna bring down this eye right here. It's gonna go into the corner of her nose ridge. Bring down this eye. And I'm gonna bring down the inside of her pupil. I'm gonna give it a little shine right here. So this is her pupil that's all the way in the corner. I'm gonna go ahead and fill that in in her iris and jump over here to this eye now. I'm going to go ahead and give that pupil iris area all the way off to the side. I'm going to bring down the pupil area, color this in, and then make the shine to the eye right here. Lightly color in the iris. I'm going to jump back over to the right eye and give her thicker eyelashes and they go up. Jump over here, give her those thick eyelashes. Then I'm going to jump above the right eye and give her one eyebrow over here. And then jump over here and give her an eyebrow over here, which will eventually be covered up by her hair. Let's go ahead and start laying out her hair. So I'm going to go up. From, so I'm going to start off to the side right here on the right side. I'm going to go and start the part because her bangs are going to go over her eye, cover her eyebrow. And I'm going to jump back off to the side. I'm going to jump back over here. Where I'm going to go up, bring this down on one side right here and bring down the other side of her bang section and it's going to go flowing into her hair but this part is a little bit more choppy into pieces it's got about like three pieces then i'm going to jump over here i'm going to bring this down go inwards and then in the middle of that i'm going to jump back here up and then go into her face. And then I'm gonna jump over here. Bring down the side of her head. So I'm gonna jump into the bangs. Bring down this side of her hair. And then her hair is gonna go all the way behind her back. And I'm going to draw through her body because her hair is going to just be swishing over here. 
and there's one section here and then there's another section right here. I'm going to jump from her ear, right above her ear, she has a little bit of hair going on the side of her face, and then there's parts of her hair that's going down into this big ginormous clump, another one, and there's going to be a piece over here, a piece over here, and a piece over here. Now let's go ahead and start shaping up her body a little bit more. I'm gonna make her neck just a little bit thicker. So bring out this side, I'm gonna bring out this side as well. And then let's go ahead and place where her seashell bra is gonna go. So we have one that's going to be right here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and make almost like a, a sunflower seed right here. And then I'm gonna build up off of this one right in the middle and make another sunflower seed. That way we have the basic layout of the seashells and we can go ahead and attach this part, the strap that holds them. We're gonna put that right there. All right, so let's start with this seashell bra. We're gonna go up. We're curving upwards in the sections of the seashell. So we're gonna go up. Go back down, another part, and then another part. So she should be curving upwards, and there should be like four sections on the seashell. So we're gonna go up over here. This is a little bit more rounded out. And then another section. And then another section. Then I'm gonna define her chest a little bit more and just give a little line here and then a line right here. And then we're gonna go into the right top of this seashell bra and just go and put a line there. We're gonna round out her shoulder a little bit more to where it goes into the seashell bra and then it will go into this arm. Seashell bras will always be difficult because you can never figure out if you're doing it right. Just like what section goes where? How many lines does a seashell have? <laughs> okay. Let's go over to this part of her shoulder and round this out a little bit more. Bring this down. And we're gonna keep this curve into her arm and keep this curve. We're just gonna Turn this line inward just a little bit more. For her torso, we're gonna bring it in, and then it's gonna go down. After that, what we're gonna do is you're gonna bring down, we're gonna do her hand. You're gonna bring down her hand and bring out her four, her first finger, her pointer finger, then her middle finger and ring finger are put together. can't see her thumb in this position of her hand. And then let's go ahead and jump over to this hand over here. So this hand is curved inwards. And we're gonna draw this pointer finger. Bring out the middle finger, ring finger, and 
that's all we see on that hand. Bring out her thumb. that we're going to go ahead and create the fins that are in the middle part of the top and I'm going to go and divide this down the middle bring up this part and go into her torso bring up this part into her torso and this will be divided like this just into sections up this way with it. Then overall her tail is in the right shape so we're gonna leave that alone. So let's go ahead and divide her fins into sections. So it's just gonna go, we're gonna start at the top and you're gonna go like this one section. three section, four section. And then we're gonna jump in here, do the exact same thing where we go up and over, up and over, and then up. And make a section here and here. I'm gonna shade behind this one, just to kind of show that one is in front of the other. and get rid of some of these guidelines like the line of her hair going through her torso and then what you want to do for her hair this is darker her hair is red but it's darker here and it's darker behind here there's how to draw the full mermaid body so if mermaid you're kind of stumped and you don't know how to do body proportions when it comes to a mermaid here you go there's the full body version of Ariel that way she's a good example to base off of and just use her as an example but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope you all have a most wonderful day and a wonderful mermaid I'll see y'all later bye, -bye.